Alrighty, we have a update for the uh, Mavic Air 2. Wow. <laughs> Go figure. Okay, it is done. <laughs> the update, <laughs> the update is on there. Okay, so just let me, um, just let me fire up the motors manually. I like to do that after an update gets done. Take off. Okay. So that's good. Let's see what it updated to. 01.01.0610. And then the uh, fly safe database up. Uh, uh, updated also I'm going to do another check okay so that's it 01.01.0610 alright so let's go fly it because what we brought out the Mavic Air 2 yay <laughs> we got the Mavic Air 2 we just did an update on it of course you know, I happen to go on. Um, it's windy out here. I happened to go on uh, Facebook and I saw Ron Brown that just had a video for an update for this thing. 01.01.0610. I'll put the release notes in there and stuff, but I don't know what it did, but you know, it always. <laughs> Ever since last year, it always strikes me as funny that DJI always puts out an update for one of their older products, like the day before that the uh, some new product comes out. Like last year when they did the update for the um, Mavic Mini, the day before the Mavic Air 2 came out. But day before this came out, they did an update for the Mavic Mini that totally screwed the Mini up. It totally messed it up. It was a, it was that motor error thing. You remember that? And everybody thought it was the way you set it in the case. And oh, that was the biggest red herring in history. Okay, everybody, everybody was devising all these ways to keep the prop straight so you could put it in the case because that bend in the prop would cause the motor error. It had nothing to do with that. It was a firmware problem. That's what was wrong with it. It had nothing to do with the prop being bent. Everybody was going out of their minds with all these rubber bands and all this other crap they were putting on there to try to keep those props straight. I had over 100 flights with that Mini. And I threw that thing around all, all over the place, and I'd never had an issue with that. I never paid any attention how I threw it in a case. Props bent this way, bent that way. Never did anything. Anyway, they updated that too, by the way. Yeah, I did that update on here. It took about 20 minutes. It reset a few times, so... Yeah, other than that, it was okay. Okay, that's good enough right there. I don't need 4K. I just want to fly it around to make sure that some screwy thing didn't happen with the, uh, with the update. Let me start the video up. Yay. Just check the settings, make sure it's flying okay. It it is actually flown through it has actually been through three updates since I've flown this thing. In that video that I posted yesterday over at the factory, that was from last year sometime. That wasn't anything new. That was from last July or something I don't something like that
Oh, you guys know how much I love that noise. That beeping. Let me get out of the way. Okay, I'm shutting that off to avoid. Yeah, I don't like that. Well, I thought if you shut it off, it wouldn't be. Okay, so we're just going to take a little cruise over here just to see what's happening. Oh, that car wash is booming. It does a nice job, too. So, yep, the restaurant's doing great. Things are starting to open back up here, by the way. So that's a good thing. Looking over there, that, that horn took my mind off of what I was doing. I lost the drone there for a second. But I got it back. Oh, this Mavic Air 2 is a real beast. It's a real nice quadcopter. really flies nice man they no no screw-ups with the update the update is perfect I'm not gonna test all the stuff out on here it, I'm sure it all still works if it didn't believe me I'd been hearing about it 
Marcus and Ron and all them, they would have been posting something on it, so I'm not going to worry myself about it. All right, guys, there you go. There's my FAA number. It's all, <laughs> the thing is all jacked up. Anyway, so. Oh, stop it. God. I thought that, okay. So somebody tell me, I turned the AM obstacle avoidance off, but the beeping's still happening. So it's still going to beep. It's still going to beep, but it'll just run into stuff. Okay, it'll run into stuff, but it's still going to beep. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. Let me stop the video. Okay, I want the beeping to stop. That's the point of shutting off the obstacle avoidance. Ah, uh, boy. You can't get anything. You can't have anything the way you want it. All right, guys, there you go. Mavic Air 2 update working fine everything spectacular all right guys have a nice day I'll talk to you later